This week, Shell's wonderful world of golf travels to Oklahoma, to its capital city, and a sensational new golf course. We're here for a duel between two of the world's best players. The great left-hander, Phil Mickelson, seeks his first Shell win, while his opponent, Fred Couples, looks to extend his perfect record on the series. It's next on Shell's wonderful world of golf. Thank you, Jack. As always, it's great fun to be involved with Shell's Wonderful World of Golf and two wonderful players. Um, Phil, you're kind of on the wrong side of a streak, so I think we can call you the challenger. Beautiful morning to change that. Well, thank you. I certainly am the underdog. I feel like David fighting Goliath here. Uh, he, 5-0, and oh, he's, he plays match play it, unbelievably well. He uh, made that long putt in 96 at the President's Cup to win it for the team, and uh, it was great having him as, as my partner, and unfortunately, uh, I've got to go up against him today. You have uh, been a giant killer in shell matches. Um, there's not a leading money winner as such, but uh, you would be it, Freddie. What makes you play so well in this setting? Well, I think it's, you know, a one-time shot. Um, obviously, I've played in some wonderful places, and this is certainly one of them. I've played a couple times in Oklahoma, but this is very unique. Uh, obviously, playing my buddy over here. I think it's very laid back. Uh, if I, you know, I've always looked at if I don't win, I'm going for fun and relaxation, and sometimes that makes me play better. So far, I've... Uh, done pretty well almost all over the world. Okay, we're anxious to get started. Let me introduce Jim Shaw, USGA committee member. He's going to serve as the referee today, and Phil, you get to call the coin toss. Well, gentlemen, welcome to Oklahoma City. We'll be conducting an 18-hole stroke play competition. If there's a tie at the end of 18 holes, the competition will be ended in a draw. Phil, if you'll call it while it's in the air. Uh, heads. Heads it is. You may... Uh, it is your choice. Choose. Oh. That's all I get for losing three matches. <laughs> uh, Fred, why don't you lead us off? Okay, I can do Play that. away, fellas. What do you like here, Joey? All right, Judy, let's take a look at this first hole. Well, the first hole, I'm uh, a kind of an easy starting hole. Generous in the driving area. Right-hand fairway bunker, left-hand fairway bunker. Only the left-hand bunker might come into play. Rough begins at about 240 yards off this tee, and that's a big band of rough that crosses the fairway, goes on for about 50 yards. A middle to a short iron into this green. Just that lone bunker at the front right. Very good birdie opportunity. I'm gonna bet we see one. All right, Judy, and here's Freddie. Boy, beautiful shot, just ignoring the rough that crosses the fairway. Great start. Yeah. What was that? That should be okay there, Fred. <laughs> now Mickelson. Get over there. Good one, Phil. Another beauty. We are off. Boy, aren't we off? Look at this. He hit it right through that rough, Judy. That is some dry. <laughs> <laughs> well, the Gallardia Golf and Country Club was opened in 1998, the course designed by Arthur Hills. And look at that stimp meter reading. They're running at 10.5. It's in excellent condition. Beautiful condition, as a matter of fact. Now, the winner here today will take home $100,000. The runner-up, $50,000. And a tie will result in an even split. Here's Freddie, second shot. Well, with a very big gallery on this pretty morning. Freddie at the first with a pitching wedge, 119 yards. Light rough. Bite. Well, it didn't bite quite as much as he would like, but not a bad shot at all. Now it's going to be a little different, though, as it runs down to that little collecting area. You tell me there was a... Here you go. Where'd that go? They're looking at it down there. Boy, that was some tee shot by the left-hander. Well, very first hole, Phil Mickelson gets to make use of the shot that he's famous for. 74 yards. This is a lob wedge. And a little dance by Mickelson. All right, Freddie's third. What's he going to do down there, Judy? 
Well, that second shot just slipped off the right side of the green coming out of the rough. A lot of ways to play this. Freddie's going to putt. Well, you still have some work to do. Mickelson for birdie. Putt moves right, right in the beginning, should flatten out at the hole. Par four. Thanks. Well, pressure on Fred Couples has to make a very serious six footer. Oh, yeah. Good start. He's up to the task. So two pars on the first hole, and we're all even. The short par for our second hole, and both players tried to drive the green with rather awkward results. Well, Fred had a sandwich out. He went back to an eight iron, going to play a nifty little shot from a tough eye. Oh, and he will rethink that change of clubs for a good long time. That may be a problem. That could be a real problem in the prairie grass. Now Mickelson, a little opening for him, but he doesn't have an easy time either. Big opening for Phil Mickelson, um, but a very difficult shot. Severe downhill slope. This is just a long pitch. It's his lob wedge. Oh. 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 Great shot, great shot. Oh, that Mickelson Thanks. with the short game. He's a magician. Beautiful shot. Now Freddie. Oh. Really a tough spot for Fred Couples. Um, very long Bermuda rough. Um, longer grass yet to aggravate his backstroke. 40 yards. Well, it trickles just off the putting surface, but I don't know how you could have played the shot a whole lot better from that spot. Well, you're right, Judy, but from there, he would uh, two putt for a bogey, and now here's Mickelson for a two shot swing. Oh, yes. Thanks. Bill Mickelson with the first birdie of the match takes a two shot lead over Freddie Couples after two holes. As we move to the third hole, let's take a look at it, Judy. Three is a par five, 535 yards long, and uh, the prevailing wind normally in the player's face here, but a little breeze at the player's back today uh, changes the hole dramatically. First right-hand bunker, 260 yards off the tee. The fairway begins to narrow as it gets to the second bunker. Players should get a chance to go to this green today. Long iron, maybe as little as a four or five iron, but really a well-designed golf hole. Lots of options for players of a lot of differing abilities. Well, Freddie found a bunker off the tee and had to lay up. Now here's Mickelson's second shot. Freddie, Phil's got a six iron in his hand. Um, you have to play this par five like a three shot hole. Yeah, I'm in trouble. Uh, he's bombing it. You know, I would say he should have a fairly good eagle play at it and I might not be inside him in three. All right, so he's 30 feet. Hit it where he needed to, so. Good news is, though, um, if you're going to have a, a little slip in around, better to have it early. That's exactly right. Last hole, I tried to hit the old explosion shot, and uh, I very rarely do that, and obviously it showed why, but uh, I thought I could get it on the green. I just hit way too close to the ball. More than one way to make four. Yeah. A little bit of a breeze back in Fred's face, just coming from the right. 110 yards, it's a pitching wedge. I would look for this one to spin. Shot, ready? Shot. Get up. Get up. Oh, and spin yeah. it does, Judy. But he has that for birdie. But Phil now has this putt for eagle. Well, Freddie called it right, Tim. 30 feet, right on the money. Little left to right swing. Pretty flat, very makeable. Hello. Yes. Thank you. Thanks. 
Well, Mr. Thanks. Mickelson is off to a fine Bye, start. Thanks. An eagle here. Very nice. Thanks. And now Freddie needs this birdie to keep from slipping too far behind. Freddie's putt needs to start just on the top of the right side of the hole. Has to make this one to avoid another two-shot swing. And that's what we have, Judy. Another two-shot swing. Eagle for Mickelson, par for Couples. Four-shot difference after three holes. We're at the fourth hole now, and Phil Mickelson has jumped out to a four-shot lead. But it should be noted that he has lost three previous matches. Ernie Ells in the Canary Islands, Colin Montgomery in Vail, Colorado, and Tom Lehman in Michigan, and he doesn't want to make it four in a row. Very pretty golf shot. Come on. Stop. Phil, two, two shot swings. I mean, that's a big start. It is. I was a couple up against uh, Montgomery and a couple up against Lehman, and, and I gave it away. So uh, as well as Fred is able to play and, and make as many birdies as he has in the past, I really need to keep uh, pushing and, and, and going after him. Well, that's what he's thinking. Now, Freddie. Lovely par three here, set right down on the prairie. Just using the natural contours of the land, it's really a great test. Oh, good shot by Phil. Yeah. You gotta feel good about your putter. I do. Uh, th this year has been a very good year for me putting wise, and I think that uh, that's been the, the, the largest turnaround for me uh, in the performance that I've had from 99 into 2000. And so uh, to putt this way and to make some good putts uh, day in and day out has really meant a lot to my confidence. Back to work. Thank you. Confidence, that's the key word in this game. Good lie in the light rough, the shots. Just slightly back uphill. One, he should get very close. Oh, oh. Thanks. 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 Now, Freddie, and he needs this birdie. As you look at our virtual hole, created especially for Shell's wonderful world of golf. No. Opportunity gone by for Freddie. He gets par. Nicholson also gets par, and we're still four shots apart after four holes of play. We come now to the par four, fifth hole. Phil on the tee of this par four. 405 yards. Takes a little turn to the right. Phil with a driver. Boy, just hit it absolutely dead straight down the right side of the fairway. They have jumped into the rough, but so what a good play. The four caddy out in the distance had no idea Phil could hit it that far. He chased it forward. <laughs> he is really bombing them today, Judy. Now, Fred. This one on the same line, maybe just a fraction to the Stay left. Straight. Oh. Well, Freddie's not short off the tee, and look how far behind Phil he is there. Second shot. Seventy-eight yards, good line, the light rough, a lob wedge. You can't spin it the same way as you can from the fairway, but a very good shot. Long way. Yeah, I just flipped it up in the air. Yeah. Tom Nicholson. 52-yard shot for Phil. Watch the tempo of this stroke. Whoa, whoa, whoa! And when you have the right tempo, you get shots like that. Now Freddie trying to get on track here. It's a birdie. He needs it. Oh. Oh. Not 
to be here, a par for Freddie. That's our host, E.K. Gaylor, on the left, and Gerald D. Greninger, vice president of Opubco Development Company, on the right. Bent greens at Gallardia. They're running about 10.5 on a stint meter pretty quick. This one will drop off to the right. Ah. So two pars here, and our score remains the same after five holes of play. And Mickelson still has the tee. Downwind, very reachable. Thanks. It's another bomb here by Mickelson. Boy, is hitting that tee shot. Now Fred. Still that little leak to the right. You uh. might find the right rough. And it just does behind the, the mound there. But both players will have a chance to get home in two. This is Mr. Ed Gaylord, our host here at Gallardia Golf and Country Club. And your family goes back quite a way in Oklahoma City, doesn't it? Yes, sir. Before statehood, about 97 years ago, Grandpa came down here and started the state newspaper. And we've been promoting and growing with Oklahoma and Oklahoma City ever since. And Did you always have a dream of putting a good golf course here? Always have. We've been involved in golf at the Broadmoor in Colorado and uh, Opryland and other places, and now in Cabo. And, uh, we love it. Well, you've done a great job here. It's a great venue and a great challenge for these players. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for being here, Jack. It makes a big difference. Freddie's got a three iron into the green, Phil. Um, he's a player that's um, a little bit older than you, and I'm sure I know you all are good friends, but what are the things you admire about his game? Well, he's, uh, he's played great for such a long time. He has a lot of feel. And... <laughs> He's able to be very creative and hit a lot of uh, shots that you couldn't quite envision. Uh, it's uh, it's fun to, to play on his team as we have in many uh, team events as the President's Cup and Ryder Cup. It's very difficult to go head to head against him because uh, he's got that ability to put to put together four, five, six birdies in a row. Well, Freddie's going to have to do just that. He's four shots behind. He missed the green again. We flew the nine sixty six. <laughs> I got to think that uh, we could probably fly the eight about 70, 78 or nine. Yes. Uh, I'm just thinking stock seven though, you? Because I think 90 hole, uh -huh. it should it should fly right about hole. Yeah, I, was, I was thinking maybe a touch if I had just a pair on there. You know what I mean? Okay. So basically thinking the same thing. Maybe just a touch off the stock. So. Big distance advantage here for Phil. This is just a seven iron. 190. Boy, high and on a great line. Very nice. Magnificent shot here. A chance for another eagle for Mickelson, who keeps putting the pressure on Freddie. Good lie in the bunker. The green runs away from him a little bit. He has to hit a soft shot. Easy. Just not there yet for Freddie today. He would two putt that for par, and now here's Mickelson for eagle, his second. Very nice. Oh, yes. Another eagle for Phil Mickelson, and he goes to five under par after six holes of play. Thanks. We'll be right back. All right. It was a wonderful world of golf. We're at the seventh hole, and here's Judy with the players. Phil, you're playing the par fives um, like easy par fours. <laughs> well, I've been very fortunate to make two eagles. I've hit uh, two good tee shots and had a six and seven iron in. Was fortunate to uh, hit good shots and make putts. And uh, uh, you know the uh, the rest of the course is not uh, that easy. The rough, if you hit, miss some fairways, uh, is very challenging. But uh, on those two drives, I put it in the fairway, and that was uh, very important. 
You're playing the fives like some of these guys watching. Yeah, I'm working up a sweat. <laughs> <laughs> That's about all I'm doing. Uh, yeah, you know, last hole, uh, I felt like that was a fairly easy birdie hole, and I didn't, I'm missing everything to the right, not hitting them very solid, and uh, I need to change that just to, I'm, you know, the match is not over, but it looks like it's over, so all I'm trying to do now is get under par. All right, Judy, let's take a look at this seventh hole. Well, a strong par four when it plays into the prevailing wind, but with the breeze at the player's back, players will drive the ball almost to the cart path that crosses the fairway. Bunkers should be out of play in the fairway area. Wedges into this green, and the green is the key thing on the seventh hole, one of the smallest greens on the golf course. Both players have hit terrific tee shots, and once again, Freddie is hitting first. 127, Freddie with a nine iron ball just below his feet in the hole on the front portion of the green. Yeah. Now that's the Freddy Couples of old. Yeah. I'm with Rick Smith, one of the best teachers in the nation, and the fellow who's working with Phil Mickelson, and my gosh, he's driving it a long way. Boy, Judy, thanks. He is heading it a long ways, and uh, we're, we're, we've been working on some swing changes in the latter part of the year, and it's nice to see, uh, see how he looks, because he, he's looking a lot better. Something simple that uh, the layman can look for today? Well, one thing you're going to see is his lower body is a lot more stable on the backswing, which is going to help him with his timing. The other thing is you're going to notice the club's going straighter off the ball, which puts the club more on plane. It's a better circle that he's swinging on, so he can really maximize his speed. And, you know, Phil's so good he can play from any position. And uh, he's so gifted. So, I mean, it's wonderful to work with such talent like Phil. He's just playing great today. I mean, if we can just keep this in, going in a repetition like with all these birdies and eagles, he'd be fine. Thanks, Rick. Thank you, too. Won't he be fine? He's got in there about 15 feet for birdie. Pretty flat putt, just a little bit downhill. Hook. Well, that's one that got away from him. Oh, wait, wait. Okay. Good gallery out here today, very plentiful, very colorful, and very well-behaved and knowledgeable. Now here's Freddie for birdie. Won't have any trouble getting it to the hole, a little bit of speed down the hill. for Freddie Couples here at the seventh hole. He gets one stroke back as we move now to the par four eighth hole. And Freddie will have the tee for the first time since the first hole. Dog leg to the right. Freddie took it over the corner. Stay straight. Perfect shot. <laughs> Dog leg to the right suits Phil's tee shot perfectly. He likes to take it just a little bit left and turn it back to the right. Hang on. Hang on. Well, he hit the little draw there, but he started this ball right. I might need a provisional, you think? I don't think so, Phil, to be honest. Oh, there's a guy through the flat. Yeah, that's not good, though. Well, isn't that bad? Not as straight as most of his today, but he's only got 65 yards and a lob wedge in his hand. Go, go, go. Uh, the ball was really nestled down in that Bermuda rough. Well, it's just off the green. He can putt it. Now, Freddie, who had a tremendous drive, almost drove the green. Good opportunity for Fred. A lot of green to work with. Shot he really should get very close. Easy. Carry this a long way. Very uncharacteristic of Freddie, but another great opportunity going by. Both players would get up and down for their pars. And at the end of eight holes of play, Phil Mickelson still has a five-shot lead. We'll be right back. 
Welcome back to Shell's wonderful world of golf, coming to you from the beautiful Gallardia Golf and Country Club in Oklahoma City. Now we're at the ninth tee, and here is Judy with the two players. Thanks, Jack. Well, guys, I'm here, and I'm looking at this yardage book. Um, and the longest tee that I see here at this par three is 180. Yeah. We're standing on a little tee that is 245. Another ho-hum par three? Uh, I don't know yet. We haven't hit yet. Uh, this is a pretty good hole. Um, I think it's all right for us. I wouldn't get too many of the members back here, though. Well, the tee's been built just for the two of you, and now it'll be a, a, a part of Gallardia. Well, it, it certainly makes this golf hole extremely difficult, and I noticed that the four par threes were very difficult. We've, they've got water on the holes, and they're all 180-plus, uh, and so uh, this is probably the, the granddaddy of them all, though, because 245 into this wind with, uh, with water right up on the edge of the green is a very difficult hole. Well, they've got a little bit of a break with the Oklahoma wind today, so let's watch. Well, it may not happen on this par three at 245 yards, but if either player makes a hole in one on any of the par threes, Gallardia will donate $500,000 to the Children's Medical Research Institute. Freddie. Get up. Too easy. Get up. Thank you. He's safely on. Here's a three wood. This one's going to be fun to watch. Two iron, breeze from the left hurting. Two hundred and forty five yards. <laughs> now, Freddie. 35 feet plus. He's going to take a swing from the right to the left. Still some work. And now Mickelson, after that magnificent shot, we thought a hole in one was impossible. He put it in here six feet for birdie. So this putt for two and 30 on the front nine. <laughs> oh. <sighs> a little aggressive there, Jack. Uh, yeah. Two and a half feet now for par. Well, he should be happy with a par on this type of hole, but he had a chance, he thought, for a birdie. Now, Fred. A par for both our players on this 245-yard par three. Front nine, Fred Couples, one birdie, one bogey for even par 36. Phil Mickelson, one birdie and two eagles for a five under 31. Now let's go down to Judy with our two players. Thanks, Jack. And when you manage one birdie, uh, you missed a couple of other opportunities, some chances, particularly back there at eight. But uh, you got you to gotta restart now for nine more holes. Yeah, I did. Uh, you know, I didn't play great in the front, but when Phil didn't hit it close on eight, you know, I got very excited and, and thought maybe I could make a birdie there and hammer it over the green. But I, I really would like him to realize that it's Tyson, my, my anniversary. So if he thinks about that, the back nine, uh, I, I think maybe I'll catch him a little bit. So let me tell you, this is a big day for Fred. It's his anniversary. It's a hot day, and you're a little hot. Um, <laughs> 31 on that nine hole. Well, thank you. I played, uh, I played well in the front. I got fortunate and picked up some shots on the par fives, and I may have let a shot or two slide elsewhere, but uh, I was very pleased with shooting 31. I feel like I'm going to need to shoot a good solid round of a couple under par to uh, uh, keep my uh, momentum and keep the lead over Fred, because I, he's got that ability, again, to, to string together four, five, six birdies in a row. Thanks, guys. We'll meet you at the 10th tee. Before we get to the back nine, we wanted to show you a special match that was held between Joe LaCava, Freddie's longtime caddy, and Jim Bones Mackay, Phil's caddy, with a twist being that the players caddied for their caddies. Bones, What's that? he gets a shot on one or eight? Not on a par three. Uh, on eight. On well, eight. wait, I, does he not? Are you guys playing straight up? 
you're a scratch and he's a 12? Getting shot. All right, let's I just play it even. Scratch. Well, once the wagering was figured out, Joe had the honor in this three-hole competition at match play. Joey! Cut, baby. Cut, baby. Right. That's my man right off the heel. That's my man. It's not bad. It's not a bad cut. Now Bones. Oh, oh yeah, he needs yeah. to. Let's see. Let's play him even, Joey. <laughs> I don't think he can hit another one like that. Good shot. Good right, drive there. <laughs> he got no play from there, Joey. You got the better aim. Well, I think Freddie knows how to carry the bag better than Phil. That's Joe's second shot. Bite. <laughs> All right, chipping in the wind. Just missed the green to the left. Now Bones. Good contact. Hold it. Whoa. Catch the edge there. All right, we're putting. He sneaks it on. Oh, hi. Pete, Susan, cut cleaning these things for you. Huh? I, play, I, I, I play nine holes. It's nice here. to know you keep your clubs clean, too. <laughs> now Lakava's third shot. Ah. Uh. In there. <laughs> what? Did you guys get that okay? <laughs> hey, hey. Hey. Well, that's more like it. That's, that's good. So a bogey five now is conceded, and Bones has this to win the hole. Oh, no. The hole is halved with fives. I won't tell you how disgusting that was to see. <laughs> well, you over you, Can I tell you one thing from one cat to the next? Leave your man alone next hole. Huh, Joey? You notice how I left you alone on that, on that chip? No, it's just a thing. It's like smooth. those rain shots you're hit. Right. You, don't, you know, you can't baby it. Right. But you don't have to hit it. Only Freddie's taking this seriously. He's actually giving advice. We're at the second hole, second shot. The Kai. Oh man, don't see all right. Oh, oh, oh. A little strong. Back off a little bit. Yeah. yeah I thought it hit soft in there too. It's okay. Lakava. Hang on. Oh, Joey, all right. All right. Oh, hi. Well, Bones would make a bogey, and so Joey had this to go one up. But Good one. Aha. Uh -huh. Nice putt. One up with one hole stroke. to play, and that hole nice is the long 245-yard par three. Same tees that the pros used. I, you know, I probably should start it there, so if I do get to drop, uh, where I drop else are you going to start it? Are you going to start this at the trees? It, it's your honor, pro. Why are you waiting for JD? Just focus, okay. focus on the on the two teepees then, and just let it eat. Plenty of shtick. All right, this is a daunting shot, I'll tell you. And look at Freddy trying to pump his guy up, huh? <laughs> well, he got it across the water. Wow. Bones? Yeah, you look right at the bunker, let it eat. Wow, yeah. that's awesome. Good shot. Thanks. See where that went? It's a par three, and he's missed the green by 50 <laughs> yards, and you're applauding. Yeah, I think it's a hell of a shot. It's unbelievable. <laughs> Great shot, bro. Well, Bones, meantime, missed the water, too, but he had to take an unplayable lie, and he's hitting his third shot. No. Well, shot. That's a very that's nice that's shot. Good shot, is. Bones. Very nice. That's very nice. He would make that putt for a bogey four, and so LaCava has this for a bogey to win the match. It's yes! Uh, <laughs> making it the least of my words. LaCava wins it one up. The match was played to honor the player caddy relationship, and afterwards, Kevin West from Shell presented a check for $10,000 to the Professional Tour Caddies Association in honor of Joe and Bones.
Cardia Golf and Country Club in Oklahoma City. We've come to the 10th hole. And on the tee, Mr. Fred Couples. Yeah. Oh, didn't carry the bunker? No, it's right in the middle of it. I must have to blow more. Are they serious? Right? I didn't carry the bunker? I just gonna say that there. Yeah, Joe did. I, I don't see how, but don't even Six, listen. 68 overall, all of it, Phil. <laughs> He's so close. <laughs> <laughs> a little needle going on here Take by Freddie, but Nicholson's onto it. <laughs> Very nice. Get up. All right. And he is over the trap, too. Another bomb there by Mickelson. Now Freddie's second shot. Get up. It's Jeez. on. Jeez. I, I can't. Oh, I'm about 30 feet. Now Mickelson. Oh, beautiful shot again by Phil Mickelson. Spinning Stop. back, and he deserved better. Well, Fred Couples two putted for par, and now Phil Mickelson has this to have the hole. Ooh. And the first time today, Mr. Mickelson has bogeyed. So Fred Couples narrows the lead a bit here at the 10th hole. The lead now just four shots as we move to the 11th. Par four. Well, the green down the right side from the look you get at the tee and uh, hidden because of big mounding. Good one, Phil. Very nice. Thanks. Wow, look at that. Another booming tee shot by Mickelson. Just a little pitch. Am I the only, I'm the only person going who still calls you Jim, I think. Yeah, huh? I think so. Yeah, huh? you said Jim. I didn't know who you were talking to. <laughs> you know, I have this great experience of people wanting my job. Uh-huh. And I, I bet you have the same experience. And what's so good about working for Phil? Um, two things. He's a great guy and he's a great player. You know, more than anything, he's a great guy. He's uh, been inc incredibly uh, fun to work for over the years, and it's, uh, I, f I feel like I've got the greatest job in the world. I wouldn't trade it for anything. You're a pretty good player. Uh, have you learned some of that from Phil? Uh, I, learned I learned a little bit from Phil and actually a little bit from Joe yesterday, who beat me in the little caddy <laughs> tournament, but uh, uh, I, uh, I don't play very well most, you know, much, that's for sure. Thanks, Jim. Thank you. There's a man happy with his work. Well, Judy, what does Freddie have here at this second shot? Well, it measures 52 yards to the hole, but the hole 33 paces back in this green. Out though, and let it skip just a little to get back there. Perfect distance. Pulled it just a touch. Yes, he did, Judy. We've seen him play those shots better, haven't we? 
Phil with that lob wedge again. He might choose to throw this ball way back near the hole, but with a little breeze at his back, I think he'll leave it some space to run. And he does. Well, he's done it again. My, what a short game. Vintage Mickelson. Nice shot, Phil. Thanks. Now, Freddie. Right straight uphill for Fred, one he can really go at and one he's going to have to go at. So a par for Fred, now a four foot birdie putt. Thanks. Yes, so Phil Mickelson, after Thanks. a bogey at 10, comes back with a birdie at 11. Thanks to regain a five-shot lead. Both players parred the 12th hole, and the score after 12 holes remained the same. Over water. Well, I found an interested spectator, Mike Holder, the 27-year golf coach at Oklahoma State University. Uh, did you try to get these guys to play for you? I tried to get Phil. I didn't know about Fred until he got to Houston, then it was too late. Bunkers catch an errant shot to the right, but this one is not errant at all. That's an eight iron. How do the Oklahoma State Cowboys look for this year? I think we'll have a decent team. Uh, we had one of our best players turn pro, Charles Howe, and uh, so we're going to have to try to live without him, which is going to be tough. He's the best player we ever had, but life goes on. Thanks for talking with us, Mike. They sure have great golfing tradition at OSU. Ready? No, oh, wow, it's in the water, Joe. Not quite. Both oh. players two putted for pars, and at the end wow. of 13 holes, the score remained the same. As we move to the par 5, 14. Another tremendous tee shot by Mickelson. <laughs> and a good one by Freddie. With those two drives, both players can take at getting to the green and two. What's it look like from down there, Phil? <laughs> huh? Just it's, it's seven okay. or an eight. <laughs> seven or an eight are, and that's Freddie uh, acknowledging the fact that Mickelson once again has driven it way past him. Now Freddie's second shot. Two hundred and thirty yards. Uh, the wind not much of a factor at all. This is a three iron. God. Bailout is to the left, and this one started left. It's going to stay there. And into the gallery. Now Mickelson with his second shot. Two hundred yards for Phil. Seven iron. That's a great looking shot. Sit down. Sit. Sit. Oh, well, I talk about playing short. <laughs> Went a long way. Sit. Joe, you've been with uh, Fred a long time. I know you are great friends and you've had great experiences. What tops the list? I would say Fred winning the 92 Masters. I mean, it's a tournament he's always wanted to win since day one. Uh, the whole week was a lot of fun and Fred just played great and definitely the highlight of my caddying career. Thanks. Thank you. And who will ever forget that Masters, hmm? Okay, a chipping contest. <clears throat> First Freddy. Bit of a nasty lie, some grass up behind the ball, but the entire width of the green to work with. Oh, 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 oh. 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 Got 
process. Well, the lie made that difficult. Uh, the shot itself, not that hard. Another rather undistinguished shot by Freddie. Now Mickelson. Phil chooses to chip real often where a lot of players might putt, but Back. for that reason right there, beautiful touch, beautiful stroke. Pressure on Freddie again. And another par for Freddie Couples, and another birdie for Phil Mickelson, who widens his lead after 14 holes of play. We'll be right back with more golf. We're at the 15th hole. Great looking par three, water to the right. The shot from 206 plays across the water. Trouble right, trouble long. Seven iron for Phil. Uh-oh, go. This one's going right. Set. But steady, steady. Oh. Right and wet. One of the few bad swings that Nicholson has made all day. And the door opens a bit for Freddie. Six iron for Fred, breeze at his back. Boy, and he finally is trying to take advantage right. of an opportunity. Beauty. Yeah. Yeah. Safely yeah. on. Now, after a drop, this is Mickelson's third shot. Well, he's been brilliant with that shot all day. Look at this, almost. <laughs> But that'll be a bogey for Phil Mickelson. Now a birdie try for Fred Couples. Pick up a few shots. No birdie, but a par for Fred Couples. And after 15 holes, he narrows the lead. Nice. We're at the 16th hole. Both players have hit their it tee be shots. Left right wind, if anything, too. But before they hit their second, let's look back and see what happened on the tee. What'd you have on that hole? Four. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, if he would have hit it, it's, it's loss, loss of match. It, actually, it was stroke, stroke play, it wouldn't have mattered. Huh? Stroke play, it wouldn't have mattered. All right. Please. There's Mickelson going ahead when he shouldn't have, and it's nice to see that Freddie has kept his sense of humor. Now Mickelson's second shot. He's hitting first from the fairway for one of the few times today. Kind of popped up his drive. Just going to flirt with the right side of the green. Just off the green. Now couples. Good angle from the right side of the fairway. Fred with a six iron also. This one, 156. Oh, I hit it very high. It's almost ballooning up into the wind. Oh, marvelous shot. Thirty yep. opportunity for Freddie. Now the third shot for Mickelson. This is just the kind of shot a good chipper chips in. Ah, uh, loved it. Boy, a big surprise. He's been so good with that shot all day. Now he's not in the hole yet. And Fred Couples has a chance to pick up maybe more than one shot here. That's this birdie putt. Oh, no. Never hit it. Par for Freddie. <coughs> remains an even par. Now Mickelson for par. <coughs> oh, yes. Good recovery. 
Marvelous recovery for Mickelson after 16 holes. He still maintains his lead. Both players parred the 17th hole as well. And we'll be back with the action at 18 and to award the trophy in just a moment. In Country Club, Judy, let's take a look at it. The home hole is a par five, 553 yards. It's a pretty hole and it is a very interesting hole. Fairway is split by a creek, generous area to the right, but these players almost certainly will play down the left side where the fairway gets pretty narrow. But a good tee shot here will afford these players a chance to go at the green. The green is tucked just on the right side, once again near the water's edge. Another risk reward second shot. Good second shot though will afford you a chance to make three. Freddie on the tee. Breeze out of the right. It'll help the tee shot just a little. Fred taking aim down the left side of the split fairway. Thank you. Thank you. Now Mickelson. Let's see if he can hit another from drive. This one trying to draw back towards the fairway. It's a big kick and right in the fairway. That should kick down, should it not? Yeah. I don't think it's in the thick stuff up there is my point. Yeah. He hit that down slow, Freddy. How old are you? Thanks. Eight. Let's see. Fifteen years, I'll be 40, 41. <laughs> and you'll be 23. Yeah. And see what he's doing to me right here? Hopefully, you can be doing that to him. <laughs> <laughs> he has a three-hour flight home tonight, and so do I. And I bet all he's going to be doing is telling the guys on the plane he's going on. That's how far he was hitting it past me. <laughs> you know? <laughs> so. He's a player. This guy will do it. 15, maybe not even 15 Nine. years. Maybe, <laughs> maybe in 10. Ready with a little interplay here with the gallery. Fred Couples cannot see the flag stick. He can only see the left half of this green. 190 yards. This is a six iron. Oh my God. Taking it at the middle of the green, wanting it to drop right, and it's gonna drop left. Whoops. Well, Judy Mickelson has really hit it past him again, hasn't he? Stunning tee shot, 140 yards, pitching wedge. Another par five played really well by Phil Nicholson today. Now couples, third shot. Now Phil Mickelson for his third eagle of the day. Well, <laughs> mark it. I don't want you in my line. Thanks. You really want me to mark this? Yeah. Okay. You, you want me to mark it? It's like a perfect. <laughs> What a finish. Wow, it's like a tournament. <laughs> you want to you putt out last? 
Right. And a birdie for Phil Mickelson. Nice round. Thanks, Fred. Nice Thanks, Fred. Go. I got to get some this of those one. bumps. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Joe, thanks, man. Good going. Thanks.